We're back. More Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, we were continuing from World 6. Mm -hmm. However, no save files here. So we're just gonna so we're play? Gonna have to, we're gonna have to get, go in and get the warp flutes. I thought okay. I was... I kind of wondered... Should I, uh... Should I get them first and then we can start right at World 6? But no. No, fuck This is that. part of the Super Mario Bros. 3 experience. This is this is some real Let's Play shit. This is what you gotta what? go through. Oh. I was just thinking about how, even though, ugh, fuck. How you used to be fresh as hell, and now you're not? No. No? Uh. What? Ha you're getting hit all over. You're oh, well, this. whatever. That's what I'm talking about. I was thinking about how, even though Super Mario Bros. 3 is this fairly long game, I've played the I've played World 1 and 2 like a million times, and then like the later worlds, like very rarely. That's I mean that's how I am with basically all the Mario games. Yeah, because you have to start from the beginning. Right, and then I get bored. Sure. Not because there's anything boring about Mario because, you know, they're old, and sometimes... I'd rather I, and old it. games suck. I, no, listen, Kyle. Listen, you, me, and Andy are all on the exact same side here. Old games suck. Anything older than Fusion Frenzy 2. <laughs> Not even the first Fusion Frenzy? No, I won't even go to the first you one. Have, you're forsaking yeah. uh, Bill Gates' favorite game? Yeah, that idiot. You loved Fusion Frenzy. What are you talking about? Yeah, but it was never my favorite game. It wasn't Bill Gates' favorite game either. He just said that. He just he's like, oh, that's the one game he knew. Well, I think it was it was the. Uh, I think it was his favorite game. I'm pretty. I'm sure it was. I think it was someone asked him around the launch of the Xbox, and I'm sure that was like one that his kids were into because of mini games or something. Yeah. There's Fusion a Frenzy, the meanest, most industrial party minigame collection Yeah, that ever. was the the world's first, world's only dystopian future <laughs> party game. <laughs> Alright, so here's the, the thing about Mario Brothers 3, the white blocks. You crouch down on the white blocks, you go behind the scenery, and then you run into turtles like a fucking idiot. And then you go back here and there's a, there's a warp whistle. The uh, warp whistle, I believe it looks just like the um, the one in Zelda, and when you play it, it does the same tune, and then you get swept up by a tornado, just like in Zelda. Cool. Zelda item cameo in Mario 3. Um... So, before we started playing this game, you had been playing this game in preparation, right? No. No? Just other Mario games? I played... I played this game, like, back in January or something. Okay. Like, I played it a bunch in... Pre I played it in preparation then? Uh, not so much since then. I think we talked about it before. I'm still not digging this music very much. Whatever. I'm just saying that's usually like a defining thing of Mario, and just none of this music gets me the way that that other stuff does. Fine. If, you're, if you want to be that way, fine. Ding, ding, ding. That's all it is. Where did where'd you go? I went up to the top. Shit. The tippy top. Wait, where's the, uh... Am I missing something here? That one's always hard for me. I don't know what the deal is with that. How many warp flutes do you need to get? Uh, two. I think there's three in the game. Uh, I think we're just good to go here. If I didn't fuck this up. Okay, no. It takes you here to the first one, you can pick two through four, and then you do it again. Oh, wait, no. Fuck. You... All right, I gotta reset and do this again. All right. Who's, I want to know who's genetically modifying these Goombas to fly. 
Who's stapling wings? They to no, they evolve at a exponential rate. You ever seen that movie uh, Evolution with David Duchovny? Um, it's, it's like that. Is that the one that has that smiley face in the O? Yeah, and it has three eyes. No. I just know the cover. <laughs> God damn it. Should I see it? Is it good? Is it a comedy? Um, it is a comedy. Uh, he's pretty funny. He's a funny. Yeah. Because he's, so, he's like. It was so a not movie funny. that I liked a lot when I saw it when I was 12. I'm sure it's not very good. Okay. I, I know that I like David Duchovny, and I know that he's he can be pretty funny when he has to be. Because he so, because he literally cannot emote, it makes him a very effective. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're not wrong. Yeah. Yeah, David Duchovny, uh, a pioneer non-actor. Who who's some other people like that? Um. I think. Did he learn everything he knew from Nicolas Cage? Uh, Nicolas Cage is an overactor, I think. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Nicolas Cage. I guess I guess it's more like uh it's like Nicolas Cage doesn't understand uh emotions, so he needs so he needs just... to yell everything. Uh yeah. like it's like he's trying way too hard mm -hmm. to cover for the fact that he has no emotions and doesn't understand them. Right. And then David Duchovny has no emotions uh and then just can't even pretend. <laughs> like, he doesn't even know how to... He's an actor All right. that has no emotions that can't So pretend. I'm warping to world two. Okay. Then I'm warping... God, I love that noise. Yep. There we go. That's more like it. All right. Now we're good. All right. Cool. Now, now we're good. We're just in the worst world in the game. Without... Uh, Great song, though. It's a nice background. Yeah. Uh, let's get this, and then... I would say this is Wait, nice that. song. You were the one just a second ago complaining about all the music in this game. Yeah, there's, and there's, this is one of the good ones. It's okay. still not great. This is no... Why am I... Fly, like, why am I shooting fireballs like I'm flying? That's just how he jumps in this game. Ah! And there's, a uh, you know, there's slidey ice here. So, if I'm running, and I'm letting go, he keeps going. The exact opposite of what Mario's known for. Ah, oh, fuck. Did you not want fire? You wanted fireballs? Yeah. The fireballs were helping me out. Well, that's good, too. Yeah. Love a... Oh, love a, uh, love no. Tanuki. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. This isn't Tanuki. This is Raccoon Mario. Oh, you're right. The Tanuki one's the whole suit, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Five up. The glorious sound of the five up. By the way, not what fireworks look like. They got it way wrong. Ugh, keep saying this. What? Did I say that before? Well, that's what you were also, you were complaining about, like, the fireworks in the original Mario. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is, like, your long-standing beef it's with the Mario sick. franchise. God, just when will, when will he figure out how to do fireworks? Fuck off! God, you suck at this. It's a different... You have to hit the button at a different time for each level of the picture. That sucks. It's super obnoxious. Let's get some of this going on. It's like they made it so difficult that it literally cannot be skill-based. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, they made it They made it so challenging that there's no skill to it anymore. You got to check out that, that treasure chest. Oh, I'm gonna. Don't worry. I was worried that you might forget. You're very forgetful. I am very you forgetful. You don't throw stuff out. <laughs> the two things about me, incredibly forgetful, I never throw things out. And I get to hear about both of them daily. Yep. Kyle, did you ever play, play on a slip and slide when you were a kid? No, Keith, I never had a childhood. I know people that were never on a slip and slide. Who? Who are these people? Some d I a guy named uh, Dave. I never had a slip and slide with the pool at the end, though. I always had just the one that was just like a rubber mat, and they had the audacity to sell it to you as a what? As a there was, they product. even sold them without. Yeah, that's like the original slip and slide. I didn't even know they made them without the pool. Yeah. I had one. You had rich grandparents that bought you everything. That's what you had. They didn't 
didn't buy me everything. They bought me a couple things. Ah, fuck. They... Don't lie to me, Keith. What? Um... You may listen, not... No matter, no matter might not, how much money they had, there was one thing they could n never do, uh, and that's they can't buy me love. Uh-huh. Yeah. They can't do it. You, you might not remember it this way. You might not have the perspective, but you easily had the most shit out of any I had kid a lot that of I shit. knew. Yeah, I, I had tons of stuff. Yeah. Listen. Hey, what's up? When you've got a ton of stuff that doesn't come without prices. I had to pay the price for that stuff. Oh. Yeah. And and what price was that? There's a lot. Of, I mean, everyone in my family's a lunatic, first of all. Okay, that's fair. Everyone's a lunatic. That's fair. And then also just constantly being reminded by them that I have all this stuff. Oh, right, okay. So, like, you, get to ha you have to deal with us being unreasonable because we got you that Nerf gun you wanted. It's like... Pretty sweet Nerf gun. Though, it was right? a pretty sweet Nerf gun. Yeah. Also, I want to make it clear, I, I don't want to seem like, uh, Keith's got everything he wanted and he's still complaining about his parents saying, no, my parents are literally lunatics. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ah! Nice. Is this, is this, uh... uh. Oh. oh. Is this a special, special time? Special time? Ah, fuck. Is that what this is? This is a castle. No, no, no. Is it like, am I, do I quiet zone? Oh, is, is, you're talking about serious time. Yeah, there we go. No, it's not serious time. Okay. It looked like you were concentrating really hard. Oh, man. I'm fucking killing this world, I gotta say. Yeah, you said this world was the worst world. It doesn't seem so bad. Man. You can just stand on those. Man, that was the easiest. Oh, all of those guys are super easy, but. Yeah, the first time I got to this world, uh, like back when I was practicing this game, uh -huh. I spent a lot of time on this world. Two over. Two over. This one? Yeah. What now? Top left. Top left. Damn it. Well, we now, we know one for the future. Yeah. At least. Oh, they don't change? No. Okay. Fuck you. You got this. Boom. Um, I had some, I had some Lay's potato chips earlier. Oh, yeah? Why? First of all. Because they were in my cabinet. And then, like, 20 minutes after I had those shitty potato chips, my mom came back with Cape Cod potato chips. Oh, God. I was like, oh, you know what I had recently? What? I had, um... I had... A bag of... Cape Cod... I think... S sweet and spicy... Jalapeno chips. Those sound good. They were pretty fucking good. I had some... And I had the entire sugar bag. And sour cream Cape Cod recently. Those are great, How too. How much? What? Uh, sour, uh, aged cheddar and sour cream. Huh. It was great. They tasted like fancy Doritos, kind of. Oh. Yeah, it was really, really tasty. I don't know if I want a fancy Dorito. I think it, I mean, the, it I think the like non. I was like, oh, this is a quality product. I, I think the non fanciness of the Dorito is kind of the point. Well, it's, it's, it's a whole different thing. It's when you eat a Dorito, like, oh, this is gross. Oh, I fucking hate this. Oh, oh this is the worst. Fuck off this thing and. Ah! Nice. Oh. Good save, Raccoon Mario. God damn it. Why do you hit this thing? So they, like, push you around? They, they, if you hit it at the wrong angle, it will just launch you. Yeah, kind of like that. Oh, man. You're wrecking this. Wreck, I'm a wreck it Ralph over here. That's a good movie. I finally saw it. Yeah? What'd yeah, it's think? a good movie. Yeah, it's a good movie. I finally saw it three times. You saw it three times? <laughs> Three-year-old child. <laughs> I don't know. That was one of the ones in the DVR. Yeah, okay.
Megan does that a lot. She she rewatches movies like crazy. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like go, go, like multiple viewings in theaters even. Like she'll go to a movie if she likes it three times in the theater. Really? Yeah. And I'm like, that's. I'm you know I'm a little bit like that. Like it's you don't even don't pretend like you you ever oh. went to movies until ten days ago. No no no. But I mean. Oh. Uh, this level is weird. Okay, okay. Fuck off. God. It's it's the same thing my not watching movies. It's kind of the same way I listen to music, where I don't like to listen to lots of different music. I very rarely listen to music, and when I do, I usually just want to listen to one song over and over again all day. Yeah. It's kind of like that. I'll kind of, you know, like I... Maybe well, it's we, more when we I watch bought... a lot of different movies, and like we saw, we saw Princess and the Frog, and neither of us had seen it, and okay. I thought it was good, and she thought it was good, but she also watched it two more times that week. Right. I was just like, I don't get that. I get like every once in a while I'll see uh, a movie like Summer Wars and I'll watch it twice, literally in a oh, row, because that movie's so fucking good. I have, but for the most part, I'm not like, yeah, I love that. I movie. have I've seen it fucking times. Summer Wars sitting next to Nicole's fucking Blu-ray player. She won't fucking watch it. Why not? Because it, it's anime and she's like, apparently she is rarely in the mood to watch anime. Yeah, Meanwhile, man, she Megan has a fucking and, box set of Cowboy Bebop in her. Megan will watch anything. Ca- yeah, ca- like just look at the name. Summer Wars Cowboy Bebop. Which one of those is better? <laughs> I, the, the one not called Cowboy Bebop. It drives me crazy because I know for a fact that she will love this movie. I feel the same. Yeah, Megan won't watch Summer Wars either. Not, and it's not even that she's rarely in the mood to watch anime. She just like will just refuses to watch it. Ugh. Why do we put up with this? I don't know. But to be fair, that's like the only thing. I'm just I'm waiting. It's like the one thing that's wrong is that she won't watch Summer Wars. I'm <laughs> so. I'm waiting for the day that she will be in the mood to watch anime, and then I want the fucking sincerest apology of all time. Yeah. And uh, I want what I want is well, because I'm try I try to build up credits by oh, 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 oh. By, by watching nope. movies I don't want to watch, so that one day she'll be like, you know what? He's watched so many movies. It's never gonna work. Wanna- yeah. Never gonna work. Yeah. You know what you gotta do? What? Just put it on and just be like, this is what's happening. Yeah, maybe. I might do that. What was the, uh, did you ever hear that episode of Keith and the Girl where they had, uh, Ethmos giving out, like, advice? And I think it was, like, somebody was like, I had this girl in my hotel room and, like, she was into me, but I just didn't know how to make it happen or something. And his advice was like, you just gotta take your dick out. You just gotta take it out and just be like, this is what's happening. This is the situation we got right here. How, how are we gonna handle this? This is basically what you gotta do with Summer This is really what both of us need to do with Summer Wars. We just need to take out our Summer Wars dick and just be like, this is the situation right now. That's the worst advice in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally, that's literally sexual I... assault. Um, but no, I don't think I ever heard that. Well, fine. It made sense at the time. I mean, in the context of a... For Summer Wars, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, I know. If I want... You're saying if I want to watch Summer Wars, I just gotta take my dick out? Take out your Summer Wars dick. Uh, Oh, not just my regular dick? Oh, okay, I remember, I remember. All right. Okay. Oh, all right. No, I got it. I got it this time. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, there we go. What are you doing? I got this. Watch it. All right. There we go. You could have just jumped on. Oh, okay. I see. No, those uh, those they bite you. Chompy things hurt me. Nice. Hey, Kyle. Yeah, what's nice. up? Nice. Thanks. God, Summer Wars is so good. It's so good. Yeah. It's so good. You know, Megan also won't watch uh, Django Unchained with me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That one I can understand a little bit more. Well, hey, you... Hammer Brothers suit. Hammer Brother what? I got a Hammer Brothers oh, suit. Nice. Are you going to put it on? No, I'll wait till I'm out of power up. Right now I'm Raccoon Mario. 
Ah! Fuck. You're out of power up, so you should. Well, I'm still big, Mario. Just make it fucking excuses. Got a cloud. Cloud suit? It's crazy how this is... Fuck! It's crazy how that is only worth two e two ups. Is it? Yeah. It just feels so much harder than two. Hmm. Um, alright. So, I'll go to seven here. If this proves to be some kind of challenge, I still have my hammer, I think. And I can break that rock if I really want. Okay. These, will, these will fall if I stand on them too long. It looks like oh. a little. Oh no no no! Okay. Oh, all right. Here we go. Ah. Ah. What's up? Uh, we were talking about transformers. 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 The, uh, it's just like farmers questioning their sexual identity. Ooh. Oh man, good, right? I think you just hit on something there. Yeah, France farmers. Oh my god. Holy shit. Yeah. We're gonna be millionaires. Yep. That's that sound. That sounds that like a next hit. That's an reality. ABC Family show waiting to happen. Yeah. Or a uh, TLC uh, movie. I mean, no, no, not movie. Show. TLC has all those shitty reality things too. You're right. That's it's way more TLC. I was just trying to pick a network with weird shows. Does ABC have weird shows? What do they got that's so fucking weird? Uh, they have Switched at Birth, uh, which is about uh, two are kids that are birth. accidentally switched at birth, and then one of the how mothers... many episodes could they possibly have for that? It's like they painted themselves. Fuck. Into how dare you but then uh, there is I guess the setup is that like one of the mothers learns that the kids are switched like early on but decides to keep say. the information completely to herself and like sort of like why because she already loves her baby I guess I don't know I, I don't watch the show oh and then, I thought you were like an no I hadn't seen it and then it, I guess they she watched the other child grow up it's, I don't know how like I don't know if it was watched like like, like, a like standing outside their window watching them, or like just, I don't know. Wait, maybe so they, maybe the they went to the same kids. high school. I don't know. She got to have both kids. She was like, well, like well she saw the other, other kid and watching over the other. No, she wasn't watching over. I don't know. I, I, I haven't seen it. it. Sounds terrible. It sounds like garbage. I, it sounds like there's a lot of stuff on ABC Family. It sounds exploitative, and it sounds like a bad exploitative. thing. Exploitative. Yeah. Huh. Um, there's also Fosters, which is the show that Nicole watches that I've then seen. Which oh, is, is that Foster Parents? It's about um, two lesbian parents that foster teenagers. Okay. And so Are there's there like two lesbian parents that feed their foster children Foster's beer. So there's all. It's like there's you've got like drama about like. Um, like people being disapproving of like lesbians and stuff and then there's like there's all just kind of like high school drama with their kids are just being like she likes him so but he likes like, her and eh. it's like Degrassi meets the L word meets another <laughs> shitty thing <laughs> it's okay there, there are some nice moments Um, I've also, uh... Don't jump too high or you'll die. I don't think that's true. You got hurt last time you jumped too high. No, I think it was because I ran into one of these flying things. I just didn't see it. Okay. This is a moment of truth. No sweat. What the fuck? Oh, I bet if I had fireballs, I could melt that shit. Probably not. 
way to be supportive. I think it's just decoration. Oh, I think you're being stupid. Okay. Sorry, bro. Man. By the way, I remember it was a long Wait, time ago. Wait, two we castles? Retired. What is this two castles shit? Oh. Oh. By the way, we talked about this a long time ago. The, the the dollar sign with the two hash marks in it. Yeah. Um. Someone tried to tell me that that's not actually a mark used for U.S. currency. It totally is. I looked it up just to make sure. Both one line and two lines are acceptable. Of course. We yeah. all know this. Someone's like, no, that's for, like, this country's money. Shut up. You're wrong. I mean, it is. It is for that country's money. Yeah. But it also is for American money. It's based off, like, a Greek thing or something. Supposedly. What isn't? Right? Basically nothing. You know what was also based off Greek something? Almost every word. Michael Michael Bay Transformer movies. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What is Greek about the Transformers? I don't know. Or are you just calling uh, Michael Bay an Adonis? <laughs> Truly. His long, flowing locks. His greatest feature. Uh, we, so we've been trying to talk about Transformers for like three hours. Yeah, I don't even remember why anymore. No? I guess I've just been thinking about regular Transformers. You wanted to know if I've seen the Transformers movies. Yeah. And I said I've seen two of them, and then you said one and three. I... And then I said, no, one and two. I don't know. I, <laughs> I, I, I was just guessing. Um, and but both just abysmal. Just the worst things. I thought the first one was... Okay. The first one was bad. And then sure. the second one was horrible. But what I was also thinking about is, I'm pretty sure the... Even though it wasn't the only thing I found acceptable about the movie, I think the only thing that allowed me to accept it was that they still had Peter Cullen as the voice of Optimus Prime. I'm pretty sure if they just had some other guy being Optimus Prime, I would have just hated all of it. Even if it's not I would have rejected it wholesale. Get those little fish plants. Ah! Those hopping fish plants. Oh, God. This is rough. What the hell is this level? Some rough stuff. Oh! Fuck you. God, what the hell? How come uh, you can only get them when they have extra protection with blocks? I hate this. No, I, like I can this. get them. Awesome. I can get them other times. Oh, I thought that you landed on him and he was fine, and then you landed on him when he was holding a block and he was fucked. No. Oh, what is this? Secret. It's just the. All right, well. Secret up. Ah. What do you mean to do? I wanted to fly. All right, well this is also acceptable to me. The that in the level being over. Fuck. I thought you got that. God, mushroom. Eat a dick. It's been a while since I played my NES, and I don't know what I'm changing about the way I hold the controller, but it's really hurting my left middle finger. Hmm. I think I'm like resting it on the in one of the corners or something. Weird. So it was this and this. Boom. Fuck. You're so close. How was I to know that they were different numbers of coins? That's a By shitty thing. By remembering. Fuck. That one up is one down into the corner, I think. Yep. Oh, man, we're almost done. With the whole game? No, with this world. Oh. I mean, this is a pretty long game. This is a world that can eat a dick. This whole world? This whole world. Fuck this whole world. Speaking of... I fucking hate this. Speaking of fucking whole worlds, uh, I've been watching the... Uh, Fuck this whole world. The TNT hit series Falling Skies. Okay. Sorry. Right. Falling or Fallen? Falling. It is about a robot apocalypse. Great. Taking place in Boston, Massachusetts. Um, just like it is. Just like the Heat. The show is. I don't know what that is. It's the movie with Sandra Bullock and the. Is it about a robot apocalypse? Uh, no, I was, I was kidding. But it does take place in Boston. Oh. Um. Despite it, the appearance of Sandra Bullock in it. I still really enjoyed it. It was a funny movie. Oh, the heat. Yeah. The heat. Now, I, every yeah, time not you the say robot it, apocalypse. No. Every time you say the heat, I just have no idea what you're talking about. I'm talking even about though, the summer heat wave. Even though, even though you've talked how, about this movie four or five times. How about this heat? Am I right? Yeah. No, you're totally right. It's God. It's just so humid. It's like a wet heat. It's like a. It's like oh, a Florida heat. Yeah, oh fuck. Oh fuck. Um. Oh, so, ba like, 
the whole thing is an allegory to the Revolutionary War, basically. Okay. Um, and it's like some parts of it are really cool, and then other parts of it are just so poorly done. Like, have you ever seen drama shows that just have no like forward thinking? Uh, where yeah, we're like definitely. We're like there's because a good a good TV show will have an episode where they establish something, and then two episodes later they'll play off that same thing. Yeah. And in a bad drama, they'll establish something in the first two minutes and then play off that in the last five minutes. Like, they'll, you'll okay. meet a new character, and then, like, the characters will be like, God, oh, I've known this character this whole time, and this is their established personality, but it's really just we're, just, we're just mentioning it now for the first time. And then later that episode, something plays off that. That just drives me nuts. Am I just being too greedy? Am I thinking, am I asking too much of television? I, I'm not sure. I'm almost not even sure what you what exactly. You okay, mean. so in a in a really good drama, okay, you'll meet a character in episode three of of the series, sure, uh, of the season. Um, you're you're just saying they're going about things too quickly. Yeah, and you'll and then they'll they'll establish that that guy is cheap in the third episode, yeah. and then in the fifth episode, it'll pay off where he gets in trouble because he bought something. For less expensive than he should have, and that's okay. the that's what that episode. And what a thing to get in trouble and what for! If, yeah, uh, and then in Falling Skies, that you'll they'll establish his character in episode three, and then his story arc will happen in episode three. Okay. So there's not. It's like it doesn't I, give yeah, enough, things it. enough time to simmer for you to not obviously connect the two ex, like the exposition with the payoff. I hear you. So I'm just like, I just learned about this character today. Whoa. Why would I? Why would I care about this guy? I gotcha. Yeah. But a lot of it is really cool, where it's like they're being taken over by these aliens, and the, then one of the alien people they're fighting are like kind of having a rebellion against the same aliens that you're fighting, but you don't trust them. And then a third alien race comes down and says, "We've been fighting these aliens forever. We're on your side." And then you're like, oh, are you really on? "Don't don't trust those aliens. Well, those guys suck." So far, it seems like they can be trusted because everybody's being so alien racist towards them that if the outcome was, "Yeah, we should have been alien racist the whole time," it would be insane. Like you, right. I guess you guys were right. We shouldn't have trusted this race. I think alien racist is still just racist, huh? Right? Yeah, it's. I mean, it's it's, it's speciesist, but it's still racist. Well, if you're calling them an alien race, yeah, then it would be racist. Yeah, it's racist. Like ev- because they're in a war, they're like no aliens. These aliens fucked us. All aliens suck. And so if they turn around and <laughs> these back, aliens up, fucked us all aliens suck. If the, Thank if, you. If the lesson Good of the night. show ended up actually being yeah, all aliens suck, like that would be a huge bummer. But also the lesson of like not all aliens like it also just seems really obvious then at that point that the other aliens are good. Like, what well, is it's what it's, are you watching you know, the show for? Like what would what keeps you watching this? Parts of it are really cool. Um, like the main, I really like the like the main couple characters. I think they're are they're really great actors. Okay. Uh, uh, first of all, another thing that <sighs> another another thing that I can't decide that I'm really into is obvious protagonist last names, like uh, oh. like Shepard, where he's always like he's going and he's getting all these people like a shepherd. Okay. And then in this, it's uh the main character's name is Tom Mason, like a guy that builds stuff and he's like in charge of the new republic basically. Mm. So I'm like, yeah, Mason I'm going, in charge I'm of the thing. Going in with the power star. That's a pretty. That's a pretty good thing to go in with. So are you pro or anti? Because there we go. Boom. I think maybe most people just aren't even connecting those dots. Maybe not. Like is a Mason a guy that like builds no. stuff? Yeah, no, I've never connected any dot like that ever. Almost never. I know that you haven't, but I'm talking about other people. Well, there goes my fucking raccoon. There goes my fucking raccoon. He took off again. Yeah. Did you leave the door open? Where's my raccoon? Fuck. Have you seen those YouTube videos of that guy that has a raccoon? No. That he's kind of a dick to? No, I haven't seen. I have not <laughs> seen those YouTube videos of the guy with a raccoon that he's kind of a dick to. I can't tell if you have or haven't. No. Okay, okay well, there's these videos of a guy that has, like, a pet raccoon. And he's kind of an asshole to the raccoon. Uh. <sighs> no, to go on. Tell me about the plight of the raccoon and his asshole. Home. He comes home, and the raccoon, like, knocked over a, th- a trash can and made kind of a mess. Okay. And he's, he's, he's videotaping it. Typical raccoon bullshit, by yeah. the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is very, very typical. Like, 
like for this guy to be mad about a raccoon getting into the trash is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> because like, dude, you want a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, what's weirder, the fact that a raccoon got into your garbage or the fact that you own one and keep it near your garbage regularly and are surprised that that happened? Yeah, and he comes in and he's like, this is my raccoon, he gets into the trash, and then like, like he's cool about it, but then he's like, did you go in the trash, you raccoon? <laughs> and he like takes him and he like, as a punishment, puts him outside in a little dog pen for the night. I'm just like, dude. And then, the, the raccoon. and then of course everyone loves it. Like, do it a fucking love when you yell at the raccoon. It's no, hilarious. no, it had like it has like a million views and half <coughs> of them are down thumbs. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's because if you've ever watched animal videos on YouTube, they're it's basically yeah, you're all right. All down thumbs being like, you're mistreating this animal. You're right. Like, yeah. What are you talking about? This is my. This is just a dog. I'm just feeding this dog. What are you? Yeah. Have you ever seen an like puppies with babies? Like no. videos of puppies, like this is this is our our one year old puppy and our baby, and the dog is licking the baby's face, and it's like a million views, seven hundred fifty down thumbs. It's like the fucking dog eating the baby. Like, what are you talking about? It's a puppy. <sighs> like they do this every day. <laughs> every day this dog is good to this baby. Well, not like a dog's never mauled a baby before. Let's be real. Yeah, but like oh. A one year Do you want your baby to be mauled by a pit bull? Answer me yes or no. Man, pit bulls can be really adorable. Not really. Yeah, Ugh. some pit bulls are really cute dogs. I just don't get it. I, I don't would... fucking get it, Keith. What, pit bulls? Yeah, I don't get it. Just own a less violent... They're not well, violent. They're you just need violent. to raise them right there. They're... Hey, how about just own a dog with, like, less of a track record of mauling well, babies. Well, here's the thing. Is that so much Pitbulls, to ask? Pitbulls is are... That, is that a bad idea? Pitbulls are really, really popular in lower-income communities. Go figure. And then, like, like obviously those communities don't have the, the resources to pay for a dog, which costs, like, $10,000 in its lifetime to okay. own a dog. And then, uh, so, like... Poor training. King's and been transformed them... into a seal. Awesome. That's adorable. Yeah, Look at that. King's he's seal. playing with oh, his he's crown. Oh, so cute. And then, like, some pit bulls are actively bought to be, like, to be trained as, as guard dogs and as fighting dogs. And True. then just all end up in pounds. And then people are buying these dogs that were raised really poorly. And then they're violent. If you get a pit bull as a puppy and they raise right. it, it's fine. Okay. Just any other dog. All right, fine. They but... look really mean. Some of them, like they're just so they're so muscular, and you're like, this dog is literally only to kill. But how how about this? If what? I adopt um, if I adopt a golden lab, uh -huh. I don't have to worry about whether or not anyone ever tra uh, trained it to kill things with flesh. That's not a concern I really need to have. Right. Well, that's just unlike when I get a pit bull. Yeah. How about that? Um, I just think you'd, you'd, ha you'd have to spend a lot of time with a pit bull before you adopt it. Or I could just get a golden fucking lab. But if you want a pit bull because they're adorable. Well, I don't. They're so cute. Because they're disgusting and ugly. Are you serious? They're I'm not serious. adorable I'm at all. I'm a pit bull right now. Oh, fuck. By the way, they're, they're called oh, American what have I done? Standard Terriers now. Just so you know. Oh, okay. That's, that's actually true. Great. I think this one is Iggy Koopa. That one looks like Iggy Koopa, yeah. It also, but with those balls, looks like Tommy Pickles. So. Boom. World 6 down. Is that not a cute dog? That's like the first thing that comes up when you Google Pitbull. That doesn't look like a Pitbull to me. That's a Pitbull. That's what Pitbulls look like. Alright, fine. That's adorable. Fine. It's fucking adorable. Look at this fucking king. Is this king a pit bull? What is this? I think it's a bear. It's like he was a seal, and then he just transformed into like a slightly more human-looking bear. Okay, okay, okay. Um, do you have anything to say more about pit bulls? I have Do we still care about this? Pitbull puppy. Mm, it's pretty. That's a puppy, though. It's not fair. Everything's adorable. But the adorable first one that I showed you was wasn't a puppy. All right, whatever. This is a new episode. Pitbull. All right, fine, fine. The, the pitbulls are fucking adorable. Okay, you got me. Yeah. 
I know. I know they are. Do you want to know why I know? Because I went to the pounding every day to look at animals, and every dog available was a pit bull mix, and they were all super cute, except one named Diesel, and he was a little scary looking. <laughs> <laughs> named D- Diesel. Yeah. <laughs>